Uh, welcome once again to the Holy Convention of MCCI, the Yahweh Elohim has enjoined in us in Atlanta, that we may come together and move out of this great legacy that has been left us by our fathers, and consider the things that we read in, because now is our time, Israel. When we look upon the earth, when we read the Holy Story, and then look upon the earth, we find out that uh, one thing has been man's problem, and that's sin. And today, we can see uh, the results of what happened uh, from the garden even after the flood because sin is running rampant as Lucifer uh, uh, is ruling his kingdom the way that he needs to rule his kingdom. Of course, we know that the reason for this is simply because Yahweh has to get him some glory. It really had nothing to do with our fathers uh, not doing the things that they were spoke that, that uh, we think that they should do because our fathers fulfilled their course. Their job was to receive the covenants, inherit the land, and produce the Messiah. And then once that took place, then Yahweh put the people out of the land. Yahweh likes their glory. And when he delivers the children of Israel, then he will receive all the glory and honor that he should receive. Uh, not like our fathers, but this time it will be different simply because there will be spiritual beings that will inherit uh, uh, the kingdom, that will be on earth, and man will have more help on earth than he's ever had uh, uh, in his life once Israel uh, is, re is returned back to the land. So let us consider these things because the whole world is waiting for the manifestation of the, ch of the sons of the living God and truly uh, 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 those of us that are going to be saved, truly you are the sons of the living God. So consider these things my brothers and sisters because uh, 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 our turn is coming up and it's going to be the best time that man has ever had upon the earth. This is why Yahweh is spending all this time preparing us for this great thing because we can't go into this kingdom doing the things that we're doing today. We can't even go into the kingdom with the same mindset that we have today. This is why Yahweh is in the process of our, the spirit rather, is in the process of our deprogramming programming us and reprogramming us so that we can be called the trees of righteousness, the planting of his hands, that he may be glorified. But Brother Steve Rudolph is of the church and invite him who stands at the door that he may come in and sup with us and us with him, that we may continue to read out of this great a legacy and rest in the spirit that we might do what's necessary that we might be saved. I'm going to read the articles of the church beginning in 1 Peter chapter 4 verses 7 through 11. But the end of all things is at hand. Be you therefore sober and watch unto prayer. And above all things have fervent love among yourselves. For love shall cover the multitude of sins. Use hospitality one to another without grudging. As every man has received the gift, even so minister the same one to another as good stewards of the manifold grace of Elohim. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of Elohim. If any man minister, let him do it as of the ability which Elohim gives, that Elohim in all things may be glorified through Yeshua, Yamashiach, to whom be praise and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Ephesians Chapter 4, verse 29. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. And grieve not the Holy Spirit of Elohim, whereby you are sealed unto the day of redemption. Let our bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. And be you kind one to another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as Elohim, Brother Mashiach's sake, have forgiven you. Be you therefore followers of Elohim as dear children, and walk in love, as the Mashiach also have loved us, and have given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to Elohim for a sweet smelling savor. 
But fornication and all uncleanness, all covetousness, let it not be one's name among you as become a saints. Neither filthiness, nor foolish talking, nor jesting, which are not convenient, but rather given a thing. Amen. Revelations chapter 3, verses 20 through 22. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame, and am set down with my father in his throne. He that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the church. Praise y'all. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the church and Holy Convention. Uh, I thought what I what I do today is uh, I do our deliverance. I like to do that about every, every two or three months so we can keep these things in our mind. So when we look up on the earth to see certain things, state prophecies being fulfilled, we'll know just about how much time we have to our deliverance. So I'd like to start our class today, our, our sermon today, in Revelation chapter 6. Hmm. Revelation chapter 6 and verse 12 through chapter 7 and verse 8. Revelations chapter 6 and verse 12 through chapter 7 and verse 8. up at. We're going to pick this up uh, when Lucifer gets thrown out of heaven. This is the time of Jacob's trouble. This will be the last three and a half years of time that we have upon the earth that our people are going to receive unprecedented trouble from the adversary and his children. And if you don't have your always protection, protection, you stand a very good chance of dying. Revelation chapter 6, my brother, you pick that up at verse 12. And I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood, and the stars of heaven fell into the earth, even as a fig tree cast her untimely figs, when she is shaken of a mighty wind. Mm -hmm. And the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together, and every mountain and island were moved out of their place. Right, the heaven departed as a scroll. Now remember, uh, 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 the apostles had asked Messiah what would be the signs of his, his coming. And he told them that the heavens was going to depart as a scroll. So what we put, we're beginning to see is this. Now, heaven is not going to be opening and closing. You see, so what's happening here is Lucifer's being thrown out of heaven, and this is what the people that don't know, they're going to think that this is the Messiah returning uh, back upon the earth. But this is Lucifer's deception upon the earth to show that, uh, uh, that his son that he has put up is the Messiah. And we know good and well that the Messiah ain't no Gentile. <laughs> Go ahead and read, brother. Revelations chapter 6. Verse 15. And the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every bond man, and every free man, hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains, and said to the mountains and the rocks, Fall on us, and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb. Mm -hmm. For the great day of his wrath is come. And who shall be able to stand? The great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? Well, wait a minute now. We haven't even blown any trumpets yet. Mm -hmm. And she can't come until after the seventh trumpet is blown, and after the seventh bride is poured out. So we can very well see that this is Lucifer's, Lucifer's deception upon the earth. So thank, thank the Creator of all things that you've been briefed on what's going to take place. So you won't be deceived by the. Uh, uh, by these things, because like the scripture says, as a snare shall it come upon all the earth. Uh, go ahead and read it, brother. Revelations chapter 7, verse 1. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, having the four winds of the earth, 
that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. So what do we see here? So now we see four angels standing up holding back those great arms. So don't you hold anything until we see every service of our Elohim on his, uh, uh, in their forehead. Remember, Saul said, we shall be saved from that. Mm -hmm. So Judah has to be saved from the wrath of the adversary of the devil because uh, 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 Satan is coming to make war with us once he gets thrown out of heaven. Mm -hmm. So we can very well see that uh, 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 that uh, 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 Lucifer is going to be wide open, deceived to the whole world, and many of us are going to be deceived. Mm -hmm. Many of us are going to be deceived because, you know, we usually have different ideas about doctrine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but go ahead. Now, doctrine don't change, but we, we change, you know. We, well, I didn't get it like that, you know. I, I've been taught this way before, but I, that was wrong teaching, right? Mm -hmm. Keep letting the little God fool you. <laughs> Go ahead and read that. Verse, Revelations chapter 7, verse 2. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living Elohim, and he cried with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our Elohim in their foreheads. Mm -hmm. And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there was sealed 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. Of the tribe of Yehuda was sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Reuben was sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Gad was sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Asher was sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Naphtali was sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Manasseh was sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Simeon was sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Levi was sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Issachar was sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Zebulon was sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Joseph was sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Benjamin was sealed 12,000. And then, if you notice, there are no other nations that were sealed from the wrath of the living God, like Paul said, like the, uh, 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 Paul said, go and honor is to the Jew first. This is why Judah was the first tribe that was sealed. Uh, 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 you finished that, right, brother? Yes, sir. Okay. Revelation chapter 12, in verse 1 through verse 12. Let's see what happens when Lucifer gets thrown out of heaven. Revelation chapter 12 and verse 1 through 12. Verse 1. And there appeared a great one in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. Those twelve stars is the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. Okay, go ahead, brother. Yes, sir, verse 2. And she being the child cried, travailing in birth and pain to be delivered. Mm -hmm. And there appeared another one in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his head. Now hold your place right there. Now go over to Revelation chapter 13, because we're coming right back there. Go over to Revelation chapter 13, my brother, and uh, I want you to read... Uh, 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 verse 1 through verse, uh, 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 verse uh, 3. Yes, sir. Verse 1. And I stood upon the sand of the sea, and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. Mm -hmm. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion. And Lucifer gave him his power, and his seat, and great authority. Mm -hmm. And I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death, and his deadly wound was healed, 
and all the world wandered after the beast. So we can understand that all the different reading this, we understand that all of the empires that came up on the earth, came up on the earth, it was dead by who? The adversary of the devil. Why? Because he is the prince of this earth. He is the prince of this earth, and he was given 6,000 years to rule this earth, and guess what? His people are, his people are doing a fantastic job. They got these big monstrosities, these big whorehouses sprayed up everywhere. People claiming 10 and 